I think it really makes a difference having all people involved on developing a higher quality product and valuable product etc. to production together and it really empowers developers as we have the opportunity to go directly to product owners, to architects and we all have a, let's say an aligned view. So let's say, I would say that we break some we break the hierarchy and when we have the opportunity to give a, to have a voice and to explain uh, why do we think this has to be done in some way? We have the opportunity to raise some risks. And I think in our daily tasks, we have this bigger picture in, uh, in mind. So maybe we, we may differ from the plan a little bit, but we always have uh, this idea of what we are doing, but more importantly, why we are doing it. So the business gives us feedback on what they want to have what they what it gives value to them and so I, I believe without this kind of exercises maybe we will be developing and we will be doing our job very well uh, uh, delivering high quality code but we will not have this big picture of why we why we are here and what is the product we want to to deliver I really like how we've evolved in that process, how we've used the framework to shape the needs of the client, to shape the needs of the, of the teams. We've injected back retrospectives, feedback from exercises that we've been doing. You take into account that this is the eighth edition of uh, this type of PIs and we've set up different designs for the exercise based on those feedbacks not only from a setup of how the teams are um, working together, but also management of the backlog, the processes to arrive to the PI itself. So it's really a long journey and we keep learning and we are evolving also the tool that SAFE as a framework is giving us. So our client is undergoing a, a multi-year transformation program. Um, traditionally this would have been implemented with um, waterfall methodology and all of the risks that are associated with it. I think we, we understand them well. There's obviously the risk that although the requirements and the value is understood at the outset, at the end of five, ten years those benefits simply are not realised. What we've come to discover and what we're, what we're seeing now is, is the application of agile methodologies and particularly safe methodology to, to deliver this program really is ensuring that those benefits are seen as early as possible. We get absolute buy-in as soon as possible. We involve every single person, every single stakeholder in that group and we ensure that the client is, is seeing that value. And one of the ways we're able to do that is really to help the client in that transformation program. We'll slice and dice and analyze the, the value that is being delivered and, and make sure that we prioritize that. That's what the backlog grooming in, entails and, and ensures that the product is of the, the correct value and the quality and gives the customer satisfaction as soon as possible. So I'm the delivery manager for this program and one of the things that we've learned is that in order to deliver a successful program you really need to act on different dimensions. So you need to define the product in a way that it can be delivered incrementally and in an iterative way so that you improve your return of investment from a business point of view. You need to ensure that you have the right people with the right roles and aligned to that value and you need to design your process in a way that enables all that to happen. What SAFE is providing us is that framework that we can relate to, that common vocabulary, common structure and principle-based way of working that we can tune to the context that we have and hence deliver not just the thing that we need to deliver but also the transformation that you need to do to success in that delivery.